So we're going to start talking about differential equations. So when you think of an equation, you probably think of something like this. That's an algebraic equation. And with an algebraic equation, when we find a solution, in this case, say, x equals 3, we might ask, what does it mean to be a solution? To be a solution, it means that if we plug it back in, it makes the equation true. So 3 plus 4, is that really equal to 7? Yes, it is. It's a solution. Okay? So that's an algebraic equation. A differential equation looks something like this. Notice that this, in this equation we have the derivative of some y, which since we're taking the derivative of it, we have to assume it's a function. So even though we're not writing it with function notation, we're really imagining here that we're talking about the derivative of some y of x function is equal to y of x. Right? So y is really a function here. And so when we go to solve a differential equation, the solution is not a number like with an algebraic equation. The solution is a function y of x that satisfies this relationship. It is a function who in this case the derivative is equal to the original function. Now you might be able to guess at what a solution here is. Can you? A function whose derivative is itself. How about e to the x? So let's check to make sure that this is actually a solution. So to verify that a function is a solution to a differential equation, we can just plug it back in. So we can ask, okay, well, what is dy dx? Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So is dy dx equal to y? Is e to the x equal to e to the x? Yeah. So this is a solution to the differential equation. Now, a good question to ask is, is it the only solution? And what do you think? In this case, no, it's not. There are more solutions, one of which would be something like 4e to the x. Because the derivative would be 4e to the x, and 4e to the x equals 4e to the x. So that's also a solution. And in fact, in this case, we end up getting a whole family of solutions. This is a whole family of solutions. So, oftentimes when you see a differential equation, you'll either be solving for the whole family of solutions, like we did here, or you'll be given more information. So commonly, you'll see something like solve dy dx equals y, where y of 0 is 3. This is called an initial condition. And when you have it, this becomes an initial condition problem. The idea here is this differential equation gives us a family of solutions. And then using our initial condition, we know that y is going to be 3 when x is 0 and it lets us solve for that constant. So from a family of solutions, it lets us narrow down one specific solution, or one particular solution. Okay? So that's the basic idea of a differential equation. Let's look at one more here. So let's verify, let's verify that uh, y of x equals sine 3x uh, is a solution to uh, y double prime plus 9y equals 0. So now this is a different type of differential equation. This is called a second order differential equation because it involves the second derivative. Uh, but the idea is the same. We have an equation that involves a function and the derivatives. So let's try to verify this. 
To do that, we can plug in the function and its derivatives and see if it satisfies the equation. So, let's see here. Y prime. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine with a chain rule times 3. Second derivative, derivative of cosine is negative sine. Again, with a chain rule. So we already had a 3 that came along for the ride. We just got another chain rule. So y double prime here is negative 9 sine 3x. So let's plug this in and see if it satisfies the equation. So we're asking, is negative 9 sine 3x plus 9 times y? y was sine 3x. Is that equal to 0? Yes. So this is, in fact, a solution to the differential equation. Okay? And so this is an example of verifying a solution to a differential equation.